Hello everyone and welcome to another of Mrs. Kiley's art tutorial videos. In this video we'll be drawing a fork and studying the reflective properties of metal. Let's begin with a light sketch of the outline of the fork, studying its basic shapes and comparing parts of it to itself so that we can get the proportions correct of this fork. Be careful with the prongs, they are quite challenging. But if you look carefully at the negative space that they create, you'll be able to get an accurate drawing. With reflective metal, the trick with it is to be brave with your contrast of values. So values is the lightness or darkness of a color or tone, and contrast is the opposites of that. So we take black and we take white and we can put them side by side to get that shiny appearance, that shiny illusion of reflective metal. So beginner artists are often scared to go very, very dark in value and they tend to uh, gray everything down. Everything has a very similar value and the trick with me reflective metal is to be brave with it and really ramp up the the, the range of value and get the really, really dark blacks that are there in front of you and look for the very, very light white shine off the metal. And if you can confidently put those down on the paper, your fork, your spoon, your tool, whatever it is that you're drawing that's metallic will really seem realistic. Now the fork curves up off the surface of the table and it casts interesting shadows as a result. So take a good close look at those shadows and how they change in value themselves the closer they get to touching the object and how they lighten up as the object moves away from the shadow. So the middle of the handle, that cast shadow gets lighter in the middle, whereas where it gets close to the handle and to the other end of the fork, it gets quite dark. Same thing for the prongs. The shadows, when they're really close to the, the bottom of the fork there, they're, they're quite dark. And then as they move away from the fork, they lighten up. Now I've taken out a smudging stick and I'm working the graphite into the paper, something that I like to do to finish off a piece. And there you have my graphite drawing of a fork, a study of reflective metal. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your questions, comments, or compliments in the box below. Please click on like and share if you found this video at all helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There'll be more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.